Okay, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to um, create a frequency distribution chart which can be used in any kind of classroom to compare scores to them to other scores within that same classroom. Um, it's very useful because it does in the end show you what uh, rating this student uh, receives as a percentage against the rest of the students in the class. I will be using a randomly generated um, set of 20 scores pretending that there's 20 students in my classroom. The first thing you want to do is enter those scores in the L column um, starting at cell 1 and you would go down all the way to cell 20. Okay, once you have entered all of your scores, you're going to highlight them all. Go to sort and filter, and you're going to sort smallest to largest. Now you have all your scores in order. You're going to create an X column, an F column, a X times an X times F column, which is uh, the score itself times the frequency. You're also going to create a cumulative frequency column. Also, you'll notice that in, when I typed in cumulative frequency, it overlapped to another column. So you're going to want to highlight and drag to make that column full size. Also, a cumulative percentage column. Once you've created that, you're going to begin entering your data. You're going to enter 1 in box 2, 2 in box 3, three, three in box four, five because there's no score four in box five, six in box six, seven in box seven, eight in box eight. Scroll down slightly, you'll see that there are also nines. Now in the F column you're going to count the amount of times that one appears, which is three, so you'll enter that in the F column. In the two column you're going to enter uh, two because there, the number two uh, occurs twice in this set of data. In the fourth row, you're going to enter two because three uh, uh, occurs twice. In the five row, you're going to type in three because five occurs three times. In six, you type in three because six occurs three times. In seven, you will type two because seven occurs twice. In the eight, you'll need to scroll down to check how many times it occurs, which is three. And then the nine row, you're going to type in two because nine occurs twice. Once you've done this, if you would like, you can delete your set of data so you don't. there's no need to scroll up and down. Now in the X of F column, you're going to type in, we're going to use formulas to find this data. So we'll type in equal sign which starts any formula. You're going to click on cell B2, which is your frequency for that row, a time symbol, and then click on A2. You'll notice that the letters are color coordinated with the boxes that you have clicked. And then you're going to hit enter and we'll get your number. You can now once you have inputted that formula, you can go back to that and click control C to copy, then in the next box you hit control V and you see that it pastes that formula correctly. I'll go ahead and do that. Now that you see that I've done that for each box, you're going to go to cumulative frequency and hit equals. You're going to then click on the frequency column, hit the plus sign. For this first row you will not hit plus, you hit enter, then you hit equals again, hit the one previous, hit the plus sign, and hit that frequency for that row. Hit enter and you see that it has added that frequency to the next one. You hit control C again to copy and you can see that you can paste them again. One problem you may run now when you get to the cumulative percentage you're going to hit equals you're going to hit the f cumulative frequency for that row divided by 20 which is the total cum cumulative frequency. You don't want to hit copy quite yet you're going to hit equal cumulative for that frequency row and then divide by 20. If you do it from the first row, you're going to get these errors for each one. 
what you have to do here is you change this, this the divided by to 9. Once you have changed them all to 9, you're going to want them as percentages. So you go up to the top, click the drop down menu, go to percentage. If there's no decimals, you can shrink and expand the amount of decimals it goes to. Um, there you have it. That's your frequency distribution. You can now use this to get a mean. You can use it to get a standard deviation. You can use it to get z-scores. However you want to use your data. Um, enjoy.